Hello, hello. Well, as promised, I was working on week 32 and here is my process video. So it is a tad long today. So I hope you will find a comfy spot or perhaps pull out your goodies and let's get cracking. So I have pre-selected my photos and um, already trimmed them down a bit and also selected some of the Project Life cards that I'd like to use. And so at this point, I am adhering the photos down and because I'm not exactly sure about the direction I'm going to go, I'm just pointing out that I only put the adhesive on the top of the photograph. That way, if I need to um, tuck anything underneath, I can always go back and do that. So I'm going to start off playing around with a few labels and see what's going to work well for the spread this week. And since I've got that big blue title card, I'm thinking that some red and pink might um, accompany the photographs and cards nicely. And my husband also happens to have on a pink shirt. I love my men and pink shirts. Oh my gosh. And when he wears a pink shirt with a pink tie, <gasps> my heart just flutters. Okay. Um, so I digress. So this week I thought I would play around with the August Studio Calico kit, um, the Project Life kit or as they call it, I think, documenter. And um, I'm really loving the colors, and I think the embellishments are really nice. I felt like I truly got my money's worth in the August kit this week um, or this month. Sometimes I'm not in love with everything or know that I'm only going to use a couple items, but I really think I'm going to enjoy the August kit. So there's some of these little paper embellishments, and I pull a few out thinking that I might use a few of them. In the end, you will see that I actually end up moving them to the side and do not incorporate them into the week. Um, but that's okay. I will come back to them another time because the colors are really fun and vibrant. So at this point, I am pulling out a couple other things. To the right of my desk, I've got this stash of unused um, tidbits from previous weeks. And so that little pink heart, um, I actually stamped um, with a little bit of embossing um, powder and did not use it on a previous layout and think that perhaps it'll fit well with this spread. And then I'm also trimming out some of the um, labels and just looking through some other printable cards that I have to see if I want to switch anything out or perhaps just trim the top of a card off and use it somewhere. In the end, I don't find anything that's really rocking my boat, but I do see these little printables with the days of the week. And so I decide that I might want to go ahead and incorporate them. As it happens for this spread, it really focuses on the weekend. You know, sometimes my spreads kind of look at various activities um, that we've engaged in over the course of a week. This particular spread, it's really about the weekend. Had lots of family and friends over and thought I would just go with that. So I do need to include journaling. So what I'm going to do is actually pull out a full sheet of Studio Calico printables. This is actually, I think, from September 2015. And I'm going to stick the whole sheet into my typewriter and just type little notes, little phrases on the different labels. So I'm going to speed that up and see, voila, all done. So now what I need to do is simply cut each of the labels out that I actually type something on. And voila, that's all done. The magic <laughs> of video making. So I've cut everything out and then I separated them um, and placed them on the appropriate photo. And so now I'm going to start trimming down um, a little bit better and begin to see how I like the placement of each of the labels on the various cards. So I've got two little notes that I journaled about my son and his um, best bud. They were literally, um, they met each other before they were born. My husband's best friend's wife has become my bestie. And we were pregnant at the exact same time. So literally, we rubbed bellies together. And these two fellas in embryo became best buds. Um, so um, 
I just journal about them loving to horse play and rough house, and they love each other. So nothing too detailed, and they happen to bring their dog over as well. So I have a photo of um, um, the little girl, his sister, um, walking the dog. So that's pretty straightforward. And that 3x4 cart, which is so cute, again, that's from the August 2016 kit, has a little dog at the top. And we have cats, not dogs, so I thought, dog gone, and I better use this card. All right, so now a photo of my hubby and his best friend. Thought that I might use that little circle um, printable, but I didn't like the way it looked, so I'm going to throw that to the side. And trim down another printable. And I th think that one says, oh, I know. That one says um, everybody came over after church to, you know, hang out, laugh, eat, that kind of good stuff. So um, no nothing too detailed, but um, that's good to go. And so I'm just going to stick that down. And trying to figure out if I want to use any wood veneer beneath that label. Not sure what I want to do. Trying to figure out placement. If I put it on the top, it covers up the heads. I don't really want the label in the center of the card. It's just a little too perfect, perfect. So I'm going to just place it a little bit to the right on the card, and I prefer that much better than a centered placement. Now, these little tabs also came in the kit this month. And I'm going to just incorporate one right there on the top for just a little bright, bold punch of color. All right. So this is like foil. It's from We Are Memory Keepers. And it's if you want to print on it, you could actually put it in your printer and create labels to put on um, mason jars and goodies like that. I've never used it for that. I don't even really think I've used it before um, but thought I'd give it a whirl today and I'm gonna use a little punch that I edge punch that like I have not pulled out in forever um, just to give a little something different to this spread and now I'm trimming down this label which I know should go with this photo but I'm not sure if I like the silver there I like the way that that card looks. Aha! So I'm going to move things around and I'm actually going to incorporate the silver on this smaller card, trim it down just a bit, and then place everything back again. And that works. I didn't want too much. There's adhesive again on the back of that little, um, of that little silver foil. We'll call it stuff. <laughs> um... And there you go. All right, so I'm pleased with that, but that still leaves me with this large 4x6 card and having to figure out what I'm going to do with it. So I'm going to place the photo to the right of the card, of the uh, 4x6 white card. So that's going to leave me a little bit of space on the left that I'm going to have to fiddle with. Um, but for now, I'm simply going to place the journaling on the card itself and this journaling just notes that I am just always happy when I have a house full of people where I'm feeding them and they're laughing and they're loud and they're raucous that makes my day it was just the perfect Sunday to finish up our week so at this point now I'm moving on to this smaller card and trying to figure out really what I want to do with it I really want to use this little pink journaling um, printable label, but just not sure about placement. All right, I'm just going to stop fiddling with it and be okay. And sometimes that's what you have to do. And I was also able to trim the word Sunday from um, something else. And so I use my tiny attacher to adhere the day of the week to that card as well. All right, trying to see if I want to use one of these little word stickers. Eh, don't like the way that looks. Putting that back. So the only other, I suppose, notable thing in my life this week 
was that I got a new phone, the new big six iPhone. I don't know, was that the 6S? Maybe. Um, while we were on vacation, my youngest um, had his phone in his swimming trunks and then jumped in the water. And so when I said, um, dude, where's your phone? He looked at me like, oh my gosh. So yeah, he ruined his phone <laughs> on vacation. Um, so the culture, which is what this journaling is all about here, the culture in our house is um, phones kind of get passed down. My hubby gets a phone. He gives it to my eldest. Um, and then my eldest will give his phone to my youngest. Um, but since my youngest ruined that phone, I got a new phone and he got my old phone. So um, that made mommy very happy. So I am going to label to get all that, that, that whole story is not there, but just the fact that he broke the phone on vacation and then I got a new phone. I've included that in the journaling. And so I'm layering up three of these labels. And I have to say, I've done this in the past, but I really do like the look of layering when I have multiple um, labels kind of all stacked on top of each other. So... I think it also works because if you can tell, I did put a couple filters on the photos and use black and white. So it's a very muted color scheme. And so the labels really serve to add that punch of color along obviously with the title card. Um, so I think if I had really, really big and vibrant photos plus the colorful labels, that might be too much for me. Um, but given the color scheme, um, I'm really, really like this, the way this layout um, turned out so but we're not done yet my friends so on Sunday we went shopping for just a few school clothes not much the boys are pretty good to go oh my kombucha I don't know if you've ever had kombucha love kombucha um it's like this naturally carbonated drink and it has ginger in it oh it's to die for anyway that's what I'm sipping on while I'm scrapping so we went shopping on Sunday and I used this Insta weather app where you take a photo and then it will put like the location and whatever the weather is, um, layer it, uh, kind of filter over the photograph. So I did that. It was 102 while we were shopping at an outdoor outlet mall. Um, literally just, I mean, sweating like it was nobody's business. Um, so the, I need a journal about that and I did not really have enough space to get that on the little label. So I'm going to try to journal on the actual four by six card. However, you'll see in about two seconds. Does it happen? There it is. I make a mistake, like multiple typo arrows that I just can't live with. So I go and pull out a three by four car um it's grid i don't know if you can make out that it's a kind of a light gray grid and so i'm able to journal with more detail which i really like when i'm able to do that but i do need to trim the photo down just a bit in order to make or to allow for space for the journaling in addition to the photograph so i'm just trying to line things up so they are about the same size so okay I'm liking that. That works. That little touch of kind of script on the left side of the card with the black and white. That's kind of cool and funky. I'm able to get the journaling in, but I want to trim that journaling card down just a bit. All right. And I'm thinking I want to add a label on this card as well. I mean, every other card has a label, so might as well put one on this one too. So in order to make it, I think, look decent, I'm going to trim that card a bit more. All right, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to do that. Stick down the journaling. And lately, because I'm liking just a little bit of dimension, use a little bit of this uh, adhesive cork. And I did look to see um, if that particular brand is available. You can find it at Michael's or on Amazon. And it's just thin cork with adhesive on the back. Um, it works really well if you want to punch out shapes or cut shapes. 
but lately I'm just using it as almost like dimensional um, tape. So, till I find something better. If you have any suggestions, put it down below. I'd love to know what you use. Um, okay, so stamping. Yay for stamping. I'm going to get a little stamping in today. So, the stamp set that came in this month's kit had some really nice little phrases. And the phrase that I'm going to use says, turn it up. Yes, that's what I love to do with friends and family at the house. So I thought stamping turn it up multiple times um, on the side of this card would be just right. Um, I didn't want to do kind of shadow stamping um, with just black ink because eh, I didn't think that was going to work. So I used some gray embossing powder that's a little bit shiny, which I thought would accompany that um, shiny silver aluminum stuff that I used earlier. So I like the little turn it up stamp, and it's kind of fun and quirky. So I'm quirky. And since I have the stamps out, why not go for just a little bit more stamping? So this is an Amy Tangerine older stamp with just these little arrows. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Pull out the Versamark, stamp, stamp, and use the same silver embossing powder. And I already had, you know, adhesive on the back, so it kind of stuck. Um, so it was a little tricky pulling it up, but I was able to do that successfully. And so now I need to adhere it back down all over again. So I'm making that happen. And voila! And so the arrows kind of point to the photograph, which works with the journaling. And that, my friends... Oh, it's almost it. I haven't done the title card. Okay, title card... Just need to figure out the week, week 32, and the days that week 32 covers. Oh, and I do want to add some of these little um, sticker pop dot things, which are really, really cute. I think one that I use says love, and the other says now or us, something like that. Okay, so I like this blue, I like the blue card, but it just seems like a whole bunch of blue for a fairly soft and muted layout. So I pull out this grid 4x6 card, and at first I think, okay, I'm going to chop off the top and see if that will work. Looking at it. Let's see. Still way too much blue. And I'm literally about to put the tape on it when I'm like, oh, maybe I should cut the bottom off. So now I'm like, okay, that's going to work. And then I'm like, well, I don't know. Do I like that? It's all like a band, like a belt going across the car. Do I like the way that looks? So first, I want to trim it down, make it a little bit thinner. And then I decide, you know what? I need to just cut a little bit off the side. Yes. And I have I don't recall that I've done that before, but I like that look. So I might be revisiting that again in the future. So now it's a matter of putting the week on there. At first, I thought maybe I'd stamp it with those big clickable stamps. But I thought, no, that's the wrong look for this week. So I pull out several possible pink letters. I'm going to go with this smaller set. I thought, well, do I want to add a label? No, clearly I've got plenty of labels already. So this smaller pink letter set is just right. It fits right up against the word August. So week 32 it is. Love that that fit, I mean, perfectly. So now I just need to get the dates. And I always have to like double, triple check because I have stamped the wrong date on more than one occasion. And then I have to go fix it. Okay. 
trying to see do I want to put a little wood veneer in between nope I'm just gonna write two round those corners and that's it my friends thank you so so much for watching for hanging in for all 20 minutes this is one of my favorite spirits yet this summer i had a blast creating it i'm so happy you've allowed me to share it with you and i'm wishing you tons of hugs and more hugs have a glorious glorious day with family and friends bye